So at the time of this video, I've done over 300 world overviews on my channel, which is a lot of worlds when you think about it. I didn't really realize how long it's been since my last top 10 type of video of worlds that I think you should download. So I was like, why don't we just make a new one since we're in February, it's the new year. So I think that I need a new video to direct people to whenever they ask for my world recommendations. So today we're gonna be looking at 12 worlds that I think you need in your Sims 3 game. Now I've done formal world overviews for all of these worlds in the past, so if you want to get a closer look at any of the worlds or if I'm going too fast for you, I will leave all of the original world overviews linked down below as well so you can go and just watch them. But this is just like a quick reference point kind of video. But let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first world that we're going to be looking at is called Kit Island. This one is by 99 Sims on the Wall. I feel like this world is a hidden gem because I feel like not that many people talk about it, but it's so nice. It's a New England inspired world. It's kind of like on a little small island. I like the Cape Cod and New England aesthetic and I also like little small worlds in the Sims 3. So why don't we just go ahead and get a closer look at it? One thing I really like about Kit Island is how all the community lots are all close together. So over here, I think is a coffee shop, I believe. This is the Morning Mist coffee shop. So even if you look at the outside of it though, it kind of gives off a small town feel in a way. So we have like this little area outside where you can eat. And then when you open up the building, you have a little sweet treat register. So you can get food here if you want to, or coffee, you can sit down, there's instruments. There's even like a sunroom that your Sims can come inside and just chill and hang out. I also really like how realistic the buildings look. This looks like something that you would see when you're like going down the street in a small town or something like that. But once you open up the building, you have your bar, there's some tables in here, a couple bathrooms in the back, you have a little live band section with a dance floor. And then even when you go upstairs, you have more stuff. This I think is supposed to be like a recording studio. So if I bring up the walls, you'll see like you have like these little booths and stuff. It's literally like a little recording studio, which I think is so cool. Even over here though, we have a pool table, there's a stereo and an arcade cabinet. So you can always come up here just to chill if you want to. And another really cool thing about this world that I like is how you have like this little dock section or this little pier section over here. I often think about this area when I think about the world. <laughs> so you have like a lot of boats that are lined it up out here. There's a couple places to sit. You have these buildings. I'm guessing if this was like real life, you could probably rent a boat from this little like booth right here. But even when you scroll down though, you have like a little sweet treat register so you can get food out here if you want to. There's a couple vending machines. This building is inaccessible, but if you wanted to, you could open it up. There's also a couple of all-in-one bathrooms out here. So over here, we have this boat and inside of the boat, you have these rugs. These are rabbit hole rugs. So if your Sim wanted to get like a specific job or something, nine times out of 10, they would have to come here. So for example, this rug is a professional sports career. This one is for the music career. This one down here is for the criminal career. So what would happen is your Sims would come here, stand on these rugs and they would disappear. And the game would treat it as if they were in a rabbit hole. So you have like at least most of them over here. I also like the houses in this world as well so i moved elliot over here it's supposed to be like a little townhouse but when you open it up though you'll see that it literally could be all one house so up here though we have a bedroom a bathroom a living room section with a kitchen and then even when you go downstairs there's like a little workout area in the garage if you wanted to you could play around with things and make this all into one big house and then of course when you go upstairs though you have another bedroom with a bathroom and you even have like a little back deck space out here too with a table place to sit and grill so i really love the houses here and I especially love this one over here so this is a lighthouse but it's also a regular house as well which I thought was so cool <laughs> so if we open it up you'll see that there's actually lights above it and then when you scroll down you actually have like a house house so all the way down at the bottom you have a living room with a little workspace you have a kitchen area once you go upstairs you have a bedroom and then you also have a bathroom and then you even have like a little deck space where you can eat there's a plot over here for gardens and stuff like that so you literally can live in a lighthouse if you wanted to in this world, which I think is kind of nice. But that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about for this world. Again, this is called Kid Island. I'll leave this one linked down below if you want to check it out. So the next world that we're going to be looking at is called Ecolopolis. This one is by Grande Llama. I always think about this world whenever someone asks me for Sims 3 city world suggestions. I always think of this world or Burrowsburg or Luxor. Like I always just think about those worlds. But I remember I played in this world maybe about a year or two ago and I did a runaway teen challenge where I had my teen sim literally live underneath this bridge over here and he was like struggling y'all like it was a whole thing he was struggling he was dumpster diving trying to like make money any kind of way he could it was like a very like realistic gameplay kind of and I remember just playing in this world and being blown away by like all the detail the scenery like literally even just this little area over here I think this little area right here might be my favorite one in the entire world I just love how you have this little park section 
with this really nice fancy statue. There's like places to sit out here as well. You even have like a little concession stand. Like it's so detailed. And like right over here, there's this little pirate boat. Now this one comes from Barnacle Bay, but it's literally just a restaurant. And I love the idea of like Sims coming here just to get on a boat to go eat. Like I think that's kind of cool. And then we also have like this building over here. I forgot what this is called. This is the river port. Okay. So I think it's like a little lounge or something. So at the top you have a bubble blowing machine, places to sit. And then all the way down below you have a bar, places to sit. So it's like a nice little lounge space. You know, you can just come and hang out. Even when you go along this little strip, there's like so many different activities. So over here we have a soccer field there's a golf club there's also a skating ring and a picnic area so we're just gonna zoom down for a second just to see like legit y'all there's like so many different activities like i just love this world i feel like one of the only downsides about this world is the fact that it is a bigger world and it has a lot of different details and a lot of different buildings usually in the sims 3 that's like a recipe for lag and error code 12 which i have gotten both of those in this world before but i would just say that if you know for a fact that your game cannot handle big sims 3 worlds honestly i would just say stay away from this one but if you know your pc can handle it or your laptop can handle it i would definitely say this is a world that you need to go ahead and download because it's just so nice like literally y'all look we have a soccer goal out here over here you can have your sims play golf there's also like a little like roller rink down this way like there's just so much good stuff out here and then even when you go down here there's like a little beach area i remember i was playing here one time just in my own free time and i had a sim go on a date to this little lot and like the girl that he was trying to date never showed up and he just was like out here all by himself for like the entire day just vibing <laughs> i think what i had my sim do was come to this little lot over here and i just had him go get a drink and just hang out with whoever showed up at the lot so on the inside of this one we have a bar there's like tables inside of here it's very nautical and y'all know i love a nautical build i love the nautical aesthetic in real life too so like just having like a little area where we could just go to is so cool there's like a lot of lounge chairs and umbrella tables out here of course if you go back over to the beach though there's a tread mill out here a weight machine some pull-up bars you have this building i don't know what's on the inside of this i don't remember oh you have bathrooms okay so you have that <laughs> and you even have like this little area over here that i sometimes have my sims go to so as you can see it's basically just a little park but you have a little playground area over here for the kids you have a lot of different park benches you have this really nice fountain as well like look at that y'all <laughs> and then right across from it you have this lot i think this is a library i want to say oh it's a historical archive which basically could be a library but when you open it up though it's so nice i love like the red color in here so you have like this bright red carpet you have bookshelves desk in here you have a couple computer desks as well and then over here on this side you have bathrooms there's a little desk there's something down below so down here i think it's just supposed to be inaccessible but you could add something if you wanted to though i also like this little area over here because there's like a little basketball hoop so i moved elliot in this house this is a starter home by the way it's not the nicest classiest house but it will do you know so on the inside he has a bed a bathroom room there's also a kitchen it looks a little bit run down but like i said it will get the job done but i really like this little area over here with the basketball hoops like i think this is so cool you can have your sims play basketball there's a little convenience store out here as well and then you also have like this little scrap yard right beside it though so you have like scrap your sims can dig through there's the building in front of it and then on the inside of the building you just have a couple desks in here though but in all though i would definitely say check out this world y'all like it's literally one of my favorites so the next world that we're going to be looking at is called nova park it's by nova park now nova park makes a lot of good worlds in the sims 3 but i think this one is probably my favorite one i just really love the aesthetic and the vibe but before we get into the actual world i just want to bring up something really quick so this world doesn't have any lots that my sim can afford to live in so say for example when i just try to get elliot i'll get a message that says it's too expensive this just means that every lot is just too expensive he can't afford to live there and there are no empty lots that he can live in so usually what i'll do to fix this is i'll just click this little button that says edit town <laughs> And then when you hit it, the game will basically ask you to make lots cheaper. But what I like to do is just turn on free real estate. And now that we have it turned on, all I have to do is just basically get Elliot again. And I can just place him down wherever I want. So I'm just going to place him over here at this house. Okay, well, now that we're actually in the world, as you can see, Nova Park just has a beautiful aesthetic. I love all of the trees that are in this world. It kind of just gives off a fall autumnal vibe. Maybe it's like summer going into fall. Like I just really love the color of the trees i think that i honestly think about that more than i think about the world sometimes just the tree placement the colors the little pops of yellow and you have the lighter green even the houses in this world are really nice too so i moved elliot over here at this one so as
as you can see, the house that I moved him into isn't really that big on the inside, but it's so beautiful, especially the furnishing. I like how dark the floors and stuff are, and you have like the little pops of blue. I think it looks so beautiful. So we have like a kitchen, we have a living room, a nice garage, we have like a high chair and a dollhouse. There's also a bathroom back here. You have a kid's room, and then you also have like the primary bedroom. So the houses here are really nice. There's even like a little tree house in the back, a trampoline. It's a really nice family styled home. And then even like this really big one across the street, I really love the color scheme on this one. Even if you open up this one, you'll see it's super detailed. So over here is like a nice nursery. You have like a kid or a teen's room, a bathroom. You have this really nice bedroom over here with a double bed, another bathroom. You even have like a little play corner over here, which is really cute. And then even when you go down below, you have a living room section, a kitchen, you have a dining space with a nectar rack. So like these Sims are living really lavish. There's also this one house in this world that has a tree growing out of it. It's this house over here. As you can see, it literally has a tree growing in the middle of it. That has got to be the coolest thing. I had never seen anything like this in The Sims 3 before. I just was so blown away when I first saw this. Like, it is so cool. Even like when you go all the way down below, it's like a little greenhouse section inside of the house, which is so cool. This house is probably like my favorite one in the entire build. And I like how it's kind of like separated. So you have like this side of the house and this side of the house, but the rooms themselves are pretty cool too. So you have like a double bed, a lofted bed in this one. You have a single bed in this one as well. Over here, you have like a nursery, maybe like a primary bed in here and then even when you scroll downstairs you have a kitchen a dining space there's also a home office space with two desks which is kind of cool and then you also have like a little living room section so the house is beautifully furnished even in the back of the house you have like a playground for the kids there's also like a little garage back here too so if we open up the garage you have a car and a motorcycle there's even like a little pet house so all of the houses in this world y'all are just really 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 nice but even if you don't go to any of the houses the community lots are also pretty cool so you have like this little section over here this is where like the seasonal festival lots take place so right now we have the summer festival but like just look at the color scheme y'all it's like the dark browns the dark green colors it is so nice like i just love the way it looks the beautiful playground section over here we have this little pond there's like a little area where you can do like hot dog eating contest and apple bobbing if you want to you can also grill out here take pictures at the photo tent i think over here is where the bathrooms are i want to say yeah so you have like your bathrooms with showers there's a roller rink back here as well like there's just so much to do in this little world and i love it so much so i'm gonna also leave this one linked down below if you want to check it out so the next world that we're gonna be looking at is called luxor this world is by wasset ascaria i hope i said that right the one thing that i really like about this world is the fact that there's so many bars and clubs and just places to go and things to do in this world that's kind of why i really like custom worlds in the sims 3 because they usually have a lot more options and places to go and things to do versus like an ea world where they may have like only things from like that pack and maybe just the base game but a custom world can do basically whatever so for example as you can see there's a couple bars over here there's a couple more bars and dance clubs and there's a karaoke lounge there's just so much in this world i also used this world a couple of months ago for my bachelorette challenge so we did this over on twitch i can leave it linked down below if you want to watch the vod so i had this sim named twig and i was trying to get her to be married with someone so we came up with the idea on my twitch chat where everyone just made me a bunch of sims and i put them through a series of challenges so i used this world to play the challenge in and i had my sims go to nightclubs and dance and do games and stuff like that so eventually we eliminated a bunch of sims until there was only two sims left i took the last two sims over to this pyramid of the flaming desert lot so when there were only two sims left in the competition i had the remainder sims go over here to this lot and i had my twitch chat basically just vote on who they think should win so to me this world is just like really perfect for challenges and competitions there's even like a couple of resorts that i had my sims go to as well so like i did like this thing where there were a couple of reward challenges so like if the sim won or whatever i would have them come to like a resort with the bachelorette or the bachelor or whatever and i would have them like spend a night at the nice resort so for whatever reason when i played this on twitch there were no sims that actually showed up i think it's because i didn't play long enough for the game to populate sims but usually there are sims that come here and you know take your reservation and stuff like that but inside of this 
this resort. We have a couple beds in here where your Sims can chill. There's a nice pool area over here as well. When you go upstairs, you have a nice buffet room. So there's some buffet tables and tables you can sit down at if you want to. Going over this way, you have a couple more rooms. And then like even across, you have this building. This is called the Lotus Beach. So it's like a little beach lot. But when you open it up, you have a bar, you have your bathrooms, a little table. You have a little deck space out here where you can come and sit down. There's even like this little private area where you can come and sit, which is kind of nice. <laughs> And then once you go upstairs, you have a couple of showers in here. So if you need to shower off, you can. Right beside it, we have like the beach area. So you have some places to lounge. There's a couple of these like windsurf objects out here as well. There's even like a little port section out here as well. So when we scroll down, you'll see there's a bunch of different boats over here. You also have like this little house that we can check out really quick. So on the inside of it, you have your kitchen, your all-in-one bathroom. You have your dining table and living room down here as well. And then when you go upstairs, you just have a bed room you have this empty room that you can add something into you also have a little aquarium and then like over here there's like a little art studio with the bathroom you even have like your dresser in the corner as well but like i was saying earlier there's like a bunch of things to do in this world y'all so if i just zoom down for a second we could check out some of the nightclubs real quick so this nightclub is called the purple planet so when you get off of the elevator you have a big dance floor a bar you have like some places to sit you also have like another little dance floor out here with a couple of tables upstairs you have a bubble blowing machine and a couple bathrooms there's also a photo booth you know and then you also have like another dance floor up here as well so there's like so much to do on this one little lot and then even when you go right next door to it this over here is called the h2o i remember i had my sims go here i think we did like a challenge where i had my sims drink a lot of juice and then like i had them dance and stuff like that and then like afterwards i had them go and do like juice pong competitions it was a fun vod i'll leave it linked down below again if you want to watch it it's like four hours long and it's also unedited but if you want to go watch it i'll leave a link down below it's on my second youtube channel i don't really talk about it but i do have a separate youtube channel you know but as you can see there is a big pool you have a couple lounge chairs out here a dance floor there's also a bar behind it there's a hot tub object as well and then you even have like your elevators, of course. And then, of course, there's really nothing down in the lobby other than a couple bathrooms, though. And then when you go over here on this side, you have this little campground area. This is usually where I started all of the challenges. I would have all the Sims come here and I would have them all like try to get to know each other and hang out and stuff like that. Just as like a first competition type thing. So I use this little campground site. So we have a couple tents. There's a bonfire out here. There's also some bathrooms. And then like the next day, I would have all the Sims go over here to this little like fishing spot and i would have them all fish and i would have them like tally up how much fish they caught and whoever caught the most fish i would you know have them win the competition so to speak so we have like this little area over here really nice i would have all of my sims live over here in this big like modern house so for the sake of the challenge i actually edited the lot to add more objects on the outside of it i also changed the floor plan because we needed like a lot more bedrooms and stuff but i remember i used this room as like the bachelorette bedroom so sometimes if a certain sim one i would have them come in here and spend the night with the bachelorette you know there's an ensuite bathroom and then down below we have our kitchen area which again i did like edit this in my own gameplay but there's a piano a little dining space you have a living room area over here as well and then going back over this way we have a bathroom with a nice rug a couple nice rugs actually <laughs> then you have like a little sitting area there's also like a pool out here as well and then over here we had this museum and what i would do is i would have all the sims come here and i would have them take turns looking at all the artwork and stuff like like that and getting like inspired by art and then what i would do afterwards is i would have them all line up in the back and i would have them paint or i would have them make sculptures and stuff like that and whichever one was the most expensive they would win the competition and whoever had like the least expensive like sculpture or whatever they would get eliminated but even if you just look on the inside of the lot you'll see it's really detailed i love like the little egyptian rug down here you have like these little barriers where you can enter over here you have some nice artifacts and objects from egypt over here you have like some more there's even like a little like coffee section to this lot so you can come and get some food if you want to or buy relics if you want to as well so like for my gameplay what i did was the sim who had the highest score they won a date with the bachelorette so i would have them go to this little coffee shop right beside it and i would have them have like a little coffee date so on the inside we have like a little register area over here we have like some places to sit a bathroom back here as well and then even upstairs you have like more places to sit and stuff so it's really nice really fancy i really 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 like this lot a lot <laughs> but that's pretty much everything that i wanted to talk about for this world so the next world that we're going to be looking at is called strangest Phil. this world is by possums and it is a recreation of strangerville from the sims 4 but made into the sims 3 now 
usually whenever you have like a Sims 4 world made into the Sims 3, there's usually a lot of creative liberties that are taken because the Sims 3 and Sims 4 are just fundamentally two different games. Sims 3, you kind of need rabbit holes to have like a functioning world so your Sims can have jobs and stuff like that. Whereas in the Sims 4, if your Sim has a job, they kind of just disappear into a loading screen or they just kind of like disappear in general. So like they're kind of like two different games in that front. So I would say that maybe this area over here is probably the most accurate in terms of the Sims 4 into the sims 3 because you have like the little learning center you have like this little area out here with picnic tables and there's a grill you have a couple chairs all lined it around and then when you open it up though you'll see that it's not as accurate as the sims 4 one but i don't hold that against this world so you have a couple of computer desks in here a couple of bookshelves so it may not be a 100 percent perfect recreation but it'll get the job done you know so even if you look over here in the sims 4 i think these are all just like debug lots that you can't really go inside over here you have like your rabbit holes and then as you get to like the other parts of the world you'll see that there was a lot of creative liberties for example we have this like swimming hole over here this doesn't exist in the sims 4 version of the world like you know <laughs> we don't have that here and then of course when you go over here we have like a karaoke lounge which we don't have in the sims 4 but this one is called the buckaroos and i love the green color scheme of it so once you go inside you have a big dance floor there's also a couple of tables in here as well you have a couple of bathrooms over here on the right and the left when you go upstairs though you have the mechanical bull object there's also also a bar you have a little dance floor with a jukebox and then you even have a couple of arcade cabinets there's also like a big dance floor and you also have another little jukebox over here too outside of the lot you have a couple of these horseshoe objects a little place to sit right beside it though we have this other little area so you have the fortune teller's wagon the spinning object from Showtime. You also have the Love Inspector, hot coals your Sims can walk on. So, you know, it's not like a 100% accurate representation, but it's kind of close. Even the houses are kind of similar in a way to the ones that you see in Strangerville in Sims 4. So for example, we have like this house right here. So once you open it up though, you have like a living room, you have a little place to sit by the art easel. <laughs> you have a bathroom, a kitchen, a bedroom, and a nursery. There's even like a little workspace over here as well. One really cool thing about this world is that you have have this little area over here in the sims 4 this is like a science lab that you have to go to to actually solve the mystery of strangerville however in the sims 3 is hidden up with fog which is kind of interesting when you think about it. Now, I don't know if your sim can actually go here or not. It says, beware, can't you break the code? I think your sims can go here if you put in a cheat code to get rid of the fog, but I don't know if there's like an in-game way to actually go here or not. You do have like this place across from it called the Strangestville Bunkers. So I guess we could just check these out real quick. So down here we have the bunkers. So when you open it up though, you have a couple of objects like a pool table, a dominoes table, a dartboard. Over here, you have like a little place to sit and watch TV, a couple of foosball tables in here once you go upstairs you have your beds where your sims can sleep and then there's even like a couple of all-in-one bathrooms and then over here on this side you have a drafting table and you have like a little like podium with some dry erase boards and then down below you have like this i don't know like a fighting area or like a sparring arena or something like that so you have like your martial arts post a couple places for your sims to sit it's pretty interesting down here but that's pretty much everything that i wanted to talk about in this world i really do like strangers feel however i noticed that in this little area it does tend to lag quite a bit i feel like that's just like a symptom of the sims 3 i feel like especially in city worlds when they have like a lot of tall skyscrapers and tall buildings it, there just tends to be a lot of lag in that area but i did just want to point that out that especially in this little area it lags quite a bit but i still would say that this world is worth the download though so the next world that we're going to be looking at is called undercity this one is by selvet selvet hopefully i pronounced that right but this is a grungy rundown city world i always have my sims move here whenever i want them to live in a grungy rundown city world so we have like this park area down here there's a fountain there's a couple plants around there's also like some trash out here underneath this tree like i'm telling you all this place is kind of run down <laughs> going over this way though we have a little soccer goal we have a grill and picnic table some bathrooms over there there's even like a little subway i love how like it's densely populated amongst all these buildings and stuff like that even when you go over here you have like some community lots which are kind of cool so over here we have the easy pawn shop we also have castelia's galleria i kind of want to check out some of these lots because i haven't seen them in a while so over here we have the pawn shop which looks super realistic like literally all even right down to like the uh, expensive electronics being in glass cases like that's super realistic <laughs> look at all the attention to detail you have like the tvs in the window some stereos when you go upstairs you have like some big arcade equipment and stuff like that and some games right next door to it though this is a galleria so it's an art gallery so you have like some art above it this is like kind of classy too <laughs> 
<laughs> and you have like some sculptures and stuff like that down below. So we also have like this little academy right beside it. So inside of here though, you have a couple of martial arts training posts, the little boards your Sims can break. And then when you go upstairs though, you have a bathroom, a little place where you can hang and sit down. Over here we have a gym and then we also have a gaslight gallery. Hey, yo, not the gaslighting. So of course this is your gym. So you have your treadmills, your pull up bar. Above it you have like a little place to sit and then you also have a bathroom. And then right next door to it though, we have this slot that has gaslighting the name so i need to see what's inside oh it's a salon so you have your stylist station your tanning booth when you go upstairs you have your drafting table there's also a couple of tattoo chairs in here as well so you definitely have like a little tattoo parlor one interesting thing about this world is that there is a prison and this world is also populated so when you scroll down you'll see that we have this prison lot now it's classified as a house i think the reason why is because it actually has prisoners that live here now i don't think any of them are actually here right now though but when you open open it up we have like a little office space there is a kitchen you have a tv there's a couple beds over here a bathroom and then over here you have these jail cells which literally like i said y'all have prisoners that live here <laughs> back behind it though we have a couple more lots so over here of course we have like you know some more jail cells in here as well there's even like something down below and then like down below we have a cafeteria so you have your stoves your fridges your tables there's a laundry room in here you have your bathrooms and then out here though we have a couple of yard spaces so you have basketball hoops there's a couple of weight machines and pull-up bars i think over here might be like the same yes basically the same just some more bars and stuff like that over here but yeah it's pretty interesting i remember one time i was having my sim play here and i had them go to like a bar or something and like legit one of the inmates were like an npc sim so it was kind of interesting to see like in my brain i was like maybe they let the inmates out during the day to work jobs and they have to go back at the end of the day or something Something like that it's kind of interesting when you think about but yeah i really like the vibe of this world so if you want to download it i'll leave this one link down below as well but let's go ahead and check out the next world so the next world that we're going to be checking out is called salmonwood this world is by my sims realty i played the first two generations of the not so berry challenge in this world and i absolutely love it it kind of gives off a small town vibe where like everything is kind of close by together i think there is a save file for this world however i didn't use it for my gameplay i just kind of let the world populate on its own but it's kind of cool though just to kind of have everything all close together so like for example we have a little pool lot over here with a little playground section you have like a little area where you can come and sit down and grill if you want to inside of it you have like a nice little area as well you can come and eat if you want to you can change if you want you can read there's a buffet table so there's like a bunch of stuff on these lots one thing that i really like about the my sims realty worlds is how a lot of the lots have all-in-one bathrooms and or they'll have like these little mini fridges and i think that's like the best thing ever because sometimes your sims get hungry and you you don't want to go all the way home just to eat you know and so you can always just kind of come to a lot and just you know make sure your needs are taken care of and stuff like that another lot that i really love about this world is this one over here it's the sea fire grill and lounge this lot also shows up in a couple of my sims realty's other worlds like meadow glen and i really like this lot though because when you open it up it gives you a lot of stuff to do so if you want to you can have your sims drink something at the bar there's also like a little kitchen if you want you can like hire chefs to come and like take your order so i love to have my sims who are on dates come to this lot because it's like so much to do there's like places to sit you can order off the menu you can dance or listen to a live band if you want to so when you go down below you have your all-in-one bathrooms which could be very useful for you know woohooing and stuff like that <laughs> there's also a karaoke machine you have a pool table down here as well there's also this little mini bar that i like to have my sims go to it's this one right here called the red rose lounge it's really small and narrow but it's so cute so when you open it up you'll see you actually have red roses on the wall there's a shuffleboard object you have a couple tables a bar your all-in-one bathrooms again and then down below you have a little area where you can listen to a live band there's a dance floor some tables a dartboard there's even some arcade cabinets and then when you go all the way downstairs again you have a couple of these vampire altars so if you have a vampire sim they can always come here just to kind of rest up if you want there's also like the magical mirror there's a computer desk down here as well so i just love the mass sims reality lots though because they're so useful they have like so many good objects on them there's also the town center docks that i like to sometimes have my sims go to so if we go down here you'll see that there are a couple of these umbrella tables with a grill there's a couple of chess tables out here as well and then you also have like this little area right here so if you open it up you can have your sims come and sit down and read there's a couple of vending machines in here all in one bathrooms there's also a mini fridge which is also very useful you know <laughs> and then of course you do have like this pretty big lake area out here so you can have your sims swim you can have them fish if you want to most of the community lots and the rabbit hole lots are over here on this side of the world however you do have a couple of other 
other ones over here so like over here you have your alchemy shop you also have your junkyard so you do have like some other things that you can come and like you know use and stuff like that in this world like for example this junkyard has the scrap you have a pond out here and then right beside it you have your little elixir shop so out here if you open it up you have your little desk you have your bathroom there are some harvestables that you can harvest and then when you go downstairs you have your you know all the one bathroom again your mini fridge and then you also have your alchemy station so yeah i really love salmon wood it's like one of my favorites so i'll leave this one linked down below if you want to check it out so the next world that we're going to be looking at is called strawberry acres this is by aaron rogers a i3 i think the reason why i really like this world the most is because it kind of gives off a small town vibe i'm from a small town so i feel like just any world that can kind of just give me that vibe i absolutely have to like i know i looked at a save file for this world a week ago but i really just wanted to bring up the original one because i think this one is really good too and i really just kind of wanted to show it some love so like we have this little town hall section out here we have like this little park section right here with a big fountain and some places to sit again i love how all of the different lots are kind of close together it kind of reminds me of apple lose a planes in a way but if we go over this way though you'll have a couple of community lots so i guess we could just check out the gallery so when you open it up though it is a little bit dark i don't know why that is it might be because of like debug lights or something i'm not really for sure but when you come inside though you have your bathrooms at the top this is kind of cool though because this is actually a wallpaper but it looks like it could be a painting or something i gotta start using this more because i think it's kind of cool though but you have like some sculptures and stuff like that upstairs down here you have like a little place to sit there's a little gnome a sculpture in here and then you have like a room where you can actually make art if you want to which is kind of cool and then outside of it you have like this little booth over here it has like a vending machine but if you wanted to you could probably put like a computer or something here if you want or like a register or something like that and then like over here we have like this building that's like a work in progress you know it's kind of being built on and then like right over here though we have the gym so if we open this up we have like a little lobby section you have a nice pool area out here as well when you go upstairs you have a couple of treadmills and weight machines a little place to sit and then you also have like a little yoga studio so it's like really small and homey you know and one cool thing about this world that i think about all the time is how this world actually has like a radio station it's called the pine 201.5 it's literally just like a radio station now this is the sims 3 so it doesn't actually function like that but it's just kind of interesting to think about this world having a radio station i remember i ended up building a house that actually had a recording studio and in my brain i had the sim work here and go home and like sometimes work from home or something like that but inside of here though you have like a little waiting room if i bring up the walls for a second you'll see there's actually like a little booth in here where you can actually like pretend to like be on the radio so you have like the broadcaster station from university over here beside it we have like a little office -y space so like i'd imagine like the sim in here is like keeping the other sim on track and stuff like that there's a computer desk over here i think is where the bathrooms are yeah so you have like your bathroom you have like another little waiting room area over here like this to me is just like the coolest thing about the whole entire world like literally one of my favorite lots <laughs> and then even if we go over here though you do have like a couple like park areas so over here we have like this little mini park with a swing set a couple of picnic tables a couple of grills it's right by the little water over here so if you want to you can fish or i think you can also swim too if you want to which is kind of nice and then like going over this way we have like this little park over here so you know that's a little fishing area you can come over here and fish and then even the houses in this world are kind of nice too so i moved elliot over here in this little cabin house so as you can see it's not really that big it is technically a starter home but when you come inside though you have a fireplace a little place to sit you have your kitchen when you go upstairs though you have a bedroom and a bathroom and i guess we can maybe just check out the house that's right beside his so we also have like this one over here it's kind of narrow but when you come inside of it though you have a living room a kitchen you have a computer desk you even have like this little foyer area with pet objects there's a dining room back here as well and then when you go upstairs you have a bedroom here and here a bathroom and then you also have another bedroom and you know what let's just check out one more house so i think we can maybe just check out one of the ones over here so like i was saying y'all these houses are just so nice i love the color scheme of this one so when you open it up though you have a dining room a living room area over here you have your kitchen there's a den space an office space over here behind it and then once you go upstairs you have two bedrooms so you have one over here one over here that's a little bit smaller and then you also have a bathroom so yeah i really just love strawberry acres like it's so nice so the next world that we're going to be looking at is called Flusland. i think that's how it's pronounced this world is by foxy and i got it off of the sims zoo website the reason why i love this world is because it reminds me of fall time like to me this is like one of my definitive fall worlds look at all the trees y'all like 
is so nice. It kind of reminds me of fall time and it kind of reminds me of Appaloosa Plains. And you know, Appaloosa Plains kind of has that little fall aesthetic though. So as you can see, the world has a lot of empty space, meaning that you can add more stuff if you want to. One cool thing about this world is that you have this castle and it's really up high on a hill and it's surrounded by a moat. So when you go all the way down to the bottom, you have like a big dining hall area. You have a kitchen over here as well, a little place to sit in the corner. Over here, we have like a den space. There are stables out here, some harvestables. When you go upstairs though, you have a couple bedrooms. As y'all can see, they're really detailed. As a chemistry table, a TV in this one. You have a bathroom. Out here, you have like a little area where you can kind of sit down. It's like a little courtyard area kind of. There's a chess table. You even have like a little art section in the corner over here. There's even like an all-in-one bathroom. And then when you go upstairs yet again, you have another bedroom. This one is kind of big. You have a little place to sit outside. And then you even have like a little room over here with a keyboard so there's like so much stuff on that one little house usually when i play in this world i'll have my sim live over here on this little separate island and i'll usually have them live in this blue house over here i don't know what it is but this blue house is like my favorite one <laughs> but before we check it out though you'll see that we have like a little park section down here with a pond there's a couple grills and picnic tables out here you even have like a supermarket which is kind of convenient if you live over here but the house that i was talking about is this one right here though it's really nice and light blue when you open it up though you have a bedroom over here with an ensuite bathroom it kind of like wraps around to the hallway again over here though you have a kitchen you have your living room i really like how like homey and cozy this house is and there is also this other one right here i don't know if i ever looked on the inside of this one though i guess we'll just check it out real quick <laughs> on the inside of this one though you have your kitchen you have a living room area over here with a pretty big bookshelf in your dining table over here is a bathroom there's a bedroom that leads into a ensuite bathroom outside of the house you have have a little deck space with a grill there's also some harvestables out here with a clothesline a little place to sit a beekeeping box and an art easel so there's like a whole bunch of stuff out here there's also this little cool area by the docks that i like to have my sims go to so we have these buildings i think they're technically on the same lot but one of them is like a bar so over here we have a bar we have some instruments in the corner there's a big dance floor you have your bathrooms over here upstairs i don't think there's anything and then over here on this side if we scroll down you'll see that we have like a i think this is supposed to be like like a lounge or something or like a coffee shop so you have your sweet treat register over here you have some tables and chairs your bathroom over here you have a little piano so when you go upstairs though you have like an art section i guess so like a little artist section of the building so you have like some drafting tables some easels some sculpture stations and venting tables so you could definitely come here to like build a lot of good skills and stuff but that's pretty much everything that i wanted to talk about for this world so let's go ahead and check out the next one the next world that we're going to be looking at is called mount estella this is by pixel bobs and i love this world because it really reminds me of springtime i think it's because it has all these cherry blossom trees kind of all sprinkled around it also has this really nice lake area over here by a waterfall like i don't know what it is y'all but it's just so beautiful and whenever i I think about springtime in the sims i always think about this world so as you can see the world is not super gigantic and it also has a lot of empty space so if you want to you can always you know add more houses or build more houses if you want but it does have like a little town area so we'll check out some of the spots so over here we have this pier by the water there is a photo tent over here there's also a couple of horseshoe objects there is like this little makeshift carousel it doesn't function as a carousel but it has like little spring rides all around it which is kind of cute over here though we have a roller rink there's also a couple bathrooms back here and then moving on over this way there's a face painting tent you have a claw machine moving on over here though you have like a little area where you can eat if you want to and like i said it is right by the water so you can always swim or hang out and stuff like that like i think this area is just like so nice there's even like a little beach area over here too so over here at the beach you just have a couple places to lounge there's also a little fire pit as well you are right by the water and right by this waterfall <laughs> and then like over here though there's a juice keg and a bonfire and then i think over here is where the bathrooms are i want to say yeah so you have like your bathrooms over here in these two and then you have like these little mini kitchen type buildings so you have like a mini fridge place to sit a bookshelf and a dishwasher there's also a coffee machine here too so you can just come and kind of hang out if you want and then there's also like this lot over here i really like this little makeshift sculpture it kind of looks like a spider in a way this was like a bunch of different pieces all kind of put together with move objects it's right out here by the city hall it has a nice fountain out here there's a bunch of activities like soccer there's chess tables out here as well you have some grills and picnic tables going over this way you have some more over here there's a big fountain but these are like some of my favorite places to go in the world now this world does have a couple of houses so we 
can check out a couple of them really quick. Let's go check out this one. Now, again, these houses are not starter homes, meaning that if you have one sim like me, they're not going to be able to live here unless you use like a cheat or something. So when you come in, you have a dining room, you have a kitchen back here. Moving on over this way, though, we have a little workshop room or like an art room. So you have a sculpture station and an art easel. Going back over this way, we have a living room section with big bookshelves, a fireplace. Going over here, we have a bathroom. Out here, we have a nice little wavy pool. There is a grill and picnic table. You have a couple lounge chairs out here. And then when you go upstairs, though, you have a nursery, a room here. You have another room over here with an ensuite bathroom. And then going over this way, you have another room. And then there's also another bathroom. So this house is like really, really nice. I love the color scheme. And why don't we check out maybe one more house before we go? Let's check out maybe this one right here. I really like this one because it kind of gives off a Cape Cod vibe in a way. And I just think is so nice. Let's just open it up real quick. So down below, we have a room over here with a pool table. The inside of this lot kind of reminds me of a lot from university, but you also have a bathroom. You have a kitchen over here, a dining room, a little bar section. Over on this side, you have two bedrooms that share a bathroom. Going over this way, you have another bedroom. There's also a little upstairs like gaming area. There's another bedroom over here. There's a bathroom. And then in the back of the lot, you have a little place to grill and sit down. Over here, you have a garage with a car and a bike. And then going over this way, you just have a little picnic table. And then over here, we have the Serenity Campgrounds, which is like a little campground area. But y'all, look at all the trees and stuff. It's so beautiful out here. Like, I love this. <laughs> so you have like a little pond. You also have like a little campground. So you have some bonfires and tents. Going over this way, you have a juice keg and a fire pit. So it is just like a little mini camping ground. And I think it's so cool. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next world. But I will leave this one linked down below if you want to check it out so the next world that we have is lighthouse island this one is so cozy y'all like when i tell y'all this world is like one of the definitive fall worlds that you just need in your game this one is y'all like this one is so beautiful like i love it it kind of reminds me of like halloween town if you've ever seen any of those movies on disney channel this world also has some really amazing houses like for example we have this one this one is like an orange house it's not super furnished on the inside so if you go upstairs there's really only a bathroom and then when you go downstairs it's like a kitchen there's a living room and then you have like this little back room and a dining room so it's not super furnished but you can always kind of go back if you want to and fully furnish it I do have one minor criticism there aren't any starter homes in this world that you can move into you know usually I only play with one sim when I start a new save file and Elliot could not afford any other houses so I had to move him on this empty lot there's a bunch of like empty lots over here in this part of the world normally I don't mind because I could just build him a house but that is something that I wanted to point out I do however like how small these lots are because if I wanted to I could build like a lot of little houses back here and have like a little village or something I think that'd be kind of fun for a video so maybe I might do that this year but if you keep moving on though you have like some rabbit hole lots so this is like a diner and grocery store we also have like this little park area with the pond and going back over this way we have like a little ferry at this fountain there's also a little arboreum going over this way we have like a little pond we are on an island of course so you can always swim in the water if you want to moving on over this way though we have Simagon Alley so this lot comes comes from Midnight Hollow. It's just the business and journalism rabbit hole, but I think it's kind of cool in this little area though. I kind of like how these little buildings kind of stand out because they're kind of darker than the other ones though. That's like a really nice touch. <laughs> and then there's also like this really narrow fire department that I like to go to. You may not realize it if you're not paying attention, but this is actually a fire department. So if we open it up and go all the way down at the bottom, we have the fire truck on the inside. Like I was legit wondering how the fire truck was going to fit in here. It's all the way at the bottom. <laughs> but then when you go upstairs though, you have like your kitchen your dining table and venting table there's a bathroom you even have like a little living room section so when you go upstairs again though you have your beds so your firefighters can sleep there's also some bathrooms in here as well and then you even have like a little workspace over here too so that's pretty cool in my opinion there are a couple more houses on this side of the world some of these are like decorative like i think this one is a fake house but i kind of want to check out like one of the other ones Ooh, this one is really nice i love it it's like a spooky house now i think this one is furnished on the inside yeah this one is furnished so when you come in, you have like a little foyer. You have like a little tea set over here as well. There is a bathroom. You have a den area over here as well. Moving on over this way, we have a kitchen in the back. When you go upstairs though, you have a bedroom, a bathroom, and then you have two more bedrooms. And then like behind the house though, you just have like a little back porch. And then there's also like this little island over here on the side of the world. So this doesn't really have a name or maybe the name is not 
recognized in my game but i really just want to check out what this is because i kind of forgot what this was Ooh, this looks really fancy though i like it let's open it up okay so it doesn't really appear to be anything on the inside of it though i think it's just empty but you could always add something here if you want to but that's pretty much everything that i have for this world so let's go ahead and move on to the last world last but not least we have quackenbush island i love this world i really like this little area right here if we zoom down you'll see it has like a line of these orangey trees i think it looks so nice it's like a little strip and it has like little businesses and stuff like that all around it i think this is like my favorite part of the entire world like it just looks so realistic it gives off a small like town vibe if we just take a peek at some of these lots if i zoom down you'll see how like you can only really see one part of it the rest is inaccessible this lot is called the divine rag so it looks maybe like a clothes store or something like that there's a mirror you have a cassette Diamond register and then you also have like a little computer desk over here too and then moving on over this way this is the homopathic pharmacy oh it's a pharmacy lot and i think these are like the elixir yeah these are like the elixir store consignment register that's kind of cool so you have like a little alchemy shop and you also have like a chemistry table and an alchemy station back here as well so why don't we just go to this side and we'll check out like two of them just to see what they are this lot is called richard's outdoor mall i don't see anything here let's go all the way down below oh the rabbit holes are down here i forgot about that yeah so if you wanted your sim to like go to like you know the business and journalism building they would go down these steps and go inside okay i was wondering about that so maybe these are just where all the rabbit holes are what about this one this one is the main street drive okay so this is a bar so you have your bar some places to sit there's a foosball table you have a bathroom down here as well and then even when you go over here though there is like the little seasonal festival lot so down here there's like a bunch of activities you have kissing booths and concession stands you can do eating contests here if you want to there's a soccer goal you have a couple of these photo tents as well so you can have your sims take photos and stuff like that it's also right here by the beach so you have some places to lounge there is also so this little lifeguard stand over here too, a stereo, and then I think these are just the bathrooms that's beside it. Yeah, so you have like your bathrooms here, and then on the other side you have your bathrooms as well. And then there's also like this little place over here, I think it's like for shipping containers. So you have the local freight pickup. I sometimes think about this lot too, it's like really colorful and it kind of reminds me of Legos. <laughs> <laughs> but you like have these shipping containers i don't know if you can actually go inside of them no they're just decorative you could make them functional if you wanted to and you have like this big crane that kind of like moves them and stuff like that and it is right across the street from the cargo administration center let's open this up to see what's on the inside oh it's the criminal career rabbit hole that's where this is okay so you can go down here and do that if you want <laughs> um one unfortunate thing about this world is that all of the houses as far as i know are empty on the inside where they're not like 100 percent empty they have like kitchens and stuff like that and bathrooms but they're not really furnished though so if we take this really big house for example and we open it up you'll see that there's like a kitchen you know there's a couple fireplaces upstairs you have a bathroom but it's not super furnished or anything like that i did however go back and furnish one of these houses for a video i think that it was this house right here i think what i did is i made it blue and i put like some stone out in front of it and then i like kind of redid the floor plan and stuff but yeah if you want to watch that video i can leave a link down below that way at least if you want to play in this world you'll at least have a fully furnished house to play in you know but that's pretty much all that i have for this video this has been 12 worlds that i think you should download in the sims 3 i know this wasn't like a formal world overview so if you want to watch the world overviews for this world like i said earlier i'll leave all of them linked down below but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below follow me over on twitch where i stream a lot more of the sims and i'll see you in the next video bye thanks for watching